Hi everyone, so it's very difficult when I'm shooting in my car to, um, usually I have my tripod, I don't have that with me, so I've just leaned this up against the, um, wind, what's it called, the steering wheel, <laughs> that's it. I want to talk about in this video, I'm not going to go on too much, I hope not, but it's called The One That Got Away. And I know that this channel is really about Marianne living life, and trust me, I will be still doing the hotel stays, you know, that's in, in pr uh, process of planning. It costs money. I will be doing um, short breaks. I've got those lined up. I will be going on holidays. I will be doing adventures. I have been trying to get people to come and do activities with me. Trust me. So that is what my channel really is about. It's a lifestyle channel to do all these activities. But anyway, in this video, this is another talking one where I'm talking about the one that got away and I'm going to keep it short. Have you guys ever been in a situation where you know, I don't live with regrets and I don't look back on life. I just live in the uh, forward, in the present, moving forward. But sometimes you just, when I was watching First Dates yesterday and also sometimes I'll see things on Facebook or I'll just reminisce about like the past and I'll think about, is there any relationship that I wish I was still in and that I tried harder or that we were still together? And there's just one, the one that got away. And this person, I met this person on eHarmony, so I'm just going to narrow it down really. I was... Um, in a good phase in my life at this point. And that's another thing. When you meet someone, when you're at your best, you know, I'd graduated from university. I'd just moved into my own property. Things were going well in my life at that point. So I went on eHarmony. There was, I had 221 matches. I thought, oh, this is interesting. This is good. Um, sourced this person straight away. It was just him. It was just the look. He had the perfect look for me. So it was all off looks. Then I saw his picture. So he was dressed as a pimp. He was dressed in a dressing up thing. He was had a picture of him eating a donut. Um, it was so weird. And then he had another picture of him at work. And I just thought this guy is showing his personality through his photos. Plus he's got the looks. So we started communicating. And then um, it was just really nice. It was, do you know what? I don't know if... It was the time that it happened or whether things are just different now. But he was such a gentleman. He was like just reaching out and just said, how are you? Hope you're not too cold and enjoying the weather. Then on Valentine's Day, he did try to send me some flowers because um, it sent it to my work address. They um, We locked up at that time, so I didn't receive it, but it was the thought that counts. Um, it was just, it was very romantic. I think that was it. He taught me how men can be when they really care about you and stuff now the distance was a thing and the fact that we were both busy at that time so when you leave london to birmingham and you're both he's got like lots of different careers he had um his own business then he was also a boxing coach then he also went to the gym a lot then he was involved with the church there was a lot on his side then there was lots on my side it just didn't work but do you know what he was the one that got away he was the person that had my heart i'm not gonna lie um out of all the men I've dated or been in relationships with he's the one that I probably think you know maybe we should have gone to couples counselling maybe we should have tried harder because there was nothing missing in terms of chemistry the electricity between us was fantastic there was nothing really missing it was just the fact that there was the distance and we were busy and we both didn't make as much effort so that was the one that got away and I just feel every time I think about him still I wish him well. I hope he's, I think he probably is married by now or he's definitely in a relationship because he's, when you have a catch, that person, you know, is not going to just stay single. And I wish him the best and I never have any like negative feelings. I just think to myself, you know, we probably would have still been together if we tried harder. So yeah, that's the one that got away. 